hi guys and welcome back for another video if you're new to my channel you're most welcome Ooh, just like my water over um as i was saying if you're new to my channel you are most welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back my name is ice cream and i post videos once a week i've been pretty inconsistent as of late but i'm trying to get back into it so forgive me for that so today's video i wanted to come and do a favorites video because there are some things that i have absolutely been loving that i just want to share with you because i think you you guys might like them too um before we move on how cute is this turban style by the way i don't really know how i don't know how exactly i did it but i really like it and i just kind of put a clip in there but anyway if i figure out how to do it i'll do a tutorial on it so back to the topic of today's video then, I'm going to just go straight into it and show you a few things that I have absolutely been loving and yeah and see what you guys think of it and let me know as well if any of you guys use any of these products already. Um, so yeah let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first product I have been loving is this Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight hydrating mask with avocado and glacier water and it's this product right here i don't know if you can see that so basically this product um i came across randomly when i was staying with my sister and my brother down in london and i had done ab um, ablution and my face was feeling dry so i needed to moisturize it so i just looked around for the closest moisturizer and then i saw like a little mini tub of this and I thought, oh, it says it's for your face, so let me let me just put it on. And wow, it was the most moisturizing thing ever. Like it was so so moisturizing, um, and it smells amazing. It literally lasted. The moisture lasted so so long. It was amazing. I was like, wow, like I need this because I always find it hard to find something that'll moisturize my face, um, like well enough without my face feeling a bit dry um so yeah this was just like wow now it is an overnight one so i do want to check and see if they have got a just a regular day one that's as good as this because if i can get one for the day one for the night then it'll last longer as well but yeah this is fantastic and honestly it's like quite thick and sticky you can see there um but yeah it's so so moisturizing oh it smells so good as well like so 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 good so i definitely recommend that the next thing that i have absolutely been loving is this elf foundation now i didn't buy this so i got it from my sister <laughs> this is a good thing about having an mua for a sister is that she has way more makeup than she needs most of the time and just gives them away so that's great um so yeah i got this one um and basically with me i always find that i don't know what it is with foundations i like try it on in the shop and then the moment i buy it and take it home and try it i don't like it so i'm like is it the lighting that they use in the shops just like is deceiving or what i don't know um so i really struggled but i did actually find a perfect shade for me and it was um a estee lauder foundation so I always used to just go and get the samples and then I thought, you know, I really should just buy the full size one. So I know we're on our way to Dubai in the airport. I thought, let me just go and buy a, uh, one from Duty Free because it'll be a bit uh, a bit cheaper as well. Um, so I went and I was like, oh, can I have this shade? Show him the name and everything. And then he had a look and he was like, oh, they don't have it here. I was like, oh, for goodness sakes. So then he was like, but do you want me to colour match you though? Because we have, we have got other shades. So then I thought, mm, okay. Um so it's one of them ones where they get the little camera thing and then they take a picture so i thought well that must be like really really accurate so then he did that and then he, he got me my perfect shade they had it in and then when i took it and i tried it i just wasn't really i don't know i felt like it was maybe a bit on the yellow side i like like more of a warm tone um if that makes sense it just i just felt a bit ashy with that one on it i feel a bit ashy and it's just there's just something about it that i'm really not digging um, it's a waste of 30 quid or whatever it was um so if anybody is do you know what what shade is it i've got it here actually so if you are a shade what's the shade shade 7w1 deep spice in the estee lauder 
foundation let me know and i can do you good prize good prize because you know, literally it's just gonna sit there otherwise not getting used um and it's just this one the double wear it's gonna focus there it is and you can see i've literally used it twice and i'm just like i really don't like it there it is it's a beautiful bottle but it just ain't for me okay so yeah this elf one is perfect and it is the flawless finish foundation in color sienna so yeah perfect the next item that i have absolutely been loving like let me just let me just show you so it's these tissue masks not just this specific one just tissue masks in general i remember a long time ago my friend Gemma said that she used a uh, it was one of these Garnier tissue, uh, moisture balm tissue masks and kind of, you know, wasn't introduced to it then, but I think it probably was actually. I don't really think I knew about these tissue masks and I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. But then I also thought surely um, face masks would work a lot better because like this is just some tissue putting on your face. But let me tell you something. This, these tissue masks are fan frigging tastic. Like they are amazing. And here's the reason why, okay, which I didn't really think about before. But with um, face masks, you put them on your face and then you wash them off, right? With these, you put the tissue on your face and it's like, so it's in, it comes in like the liquidy thing which has all the like nutrients or whatever on it. Um, so when you apply it to your face, you then leave it on for 15 minutes, peel it off and then you don't wash your face. So all the goodness from the liquid on the tissue literally remains and soaks into your face. It is fantastic, like I'm not even exaggerating. Whenever you do one, you will notice the difference like the week after in your face, like I swear to God, whenever I do a tissue mask, I'll just be looking at my face, um, you know, for days afterwards thinking, wow, like how, how is a tissue, a piece of tissue literally just done this? Obviously it isn't just a piece of tissue, but that like, is really, really good. Now there was one which me and mum, it was like, I think we can hands down say that it was the best one and it was actually a Primark one and it said it was like a brightening something and it's funny because my mom whenever she sees the word brightening on any uh, beauty product she'll always be like that's whitening and I'm like no mom it's not it's just like radiance so we bought we bought two of them because me and mum we have this routine we've not we've not really done it for a while but every Sunday we will turn up uh, turn off the lights and then put some like relaxing music on and then put the sheet mask on and just lie down and relax and just have some like chill time and um, it's so nice but yeah so we bought two to try it out and then we absolutely loved it and we went to get some more and till this day we've not been able to find any so i'm like oh one of those products that people like have discovered and now they never have it in either that or they just had like a small supply and that was it which is very annoying because that literally was the best sheet mask ever but what i would generally say is any one that says moisture on it any that's kind of um you know big on moisture or whatever moisture balm um intense hydration that kind of thing they will be equal they will be like not equally because that was just on another level but they'll be really good as well so yeah and i actually store these in the fridge now um so yeah so this one is the garnier moisture balm tissue mask with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid which i've used this before and it is also really really good so yeah i cannot big these up enough i hardly use um face masks anymore actually this is the truth let me tell you that let me tell you that okay the next thing that i've been loving or the next two things that i've been loving oh my god i'm sat on my knees <laughs> two seconds oh ah, i'm in pain i don't know why i chose to do that okay so the next two things that i've been loving are these mascaras now i do not have the longest eyelashes in the world um no these aren't mine these are false <laughs> um, but no i don't have the longest eyelashes in the world right but when i got my eyelash extensions done the lady told me the technician she told me that my eyelashes are really full i didn't know that but yeah but they're not long so um one day i was watching one of my friend's stories and she mentioned about this um, mascara and she said it's from Wilkinson's and for those of you who maybe live in America or just not in the UK Wilkinson's is kind of like I don't really know what to describe it as it's not 
I don't know, it's not really like a Target. It's, oh, I don't really know what to compare it to. I don't really know many of your shops, but it's basically one of those shops that has a bit of everything. There's kitchenware, there's toilet stuff, there's, yeah, like homeware, um, skincare, that kind of thing. So one of those mishmashy shops, but it's like a really affordable one. Um, so I didn't actually really realize that they had their, their own makeup line. So when I saw this on my friend's story, and she said it was like for, it was like two pounds or something, I was like, let me give it a try. Cause yeah, why not, right? So I went in and I couldn't find it. So then I asked somebody and then she showed me to where they were. And then she was like, oh, all their mascaras are really good actually. They're very, very good. So I thought, okay, so this one that I saw on my friend's story is the False Lash Effect Mascara. Um, and then this one, I saw it and it was, I just love the colour, and also it said Curl and Volume Mascara. So I was like, okay, this sounds interesting, but this is the one that I originally wanted to pick up, so I thought they were like, I think they were like 2 50 each. So I picked them both up. This might have been a little bit cheaper, I don't know. It was around 2 50 definitely wasn't more than £3. So I picked them both up to try them out, came home and I tried them and I was, oh my god, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, like, where have these eyelashes come from? And I have done a video where I've kind of shown you how like how well they work and then I'll leave it in the iCard somewhere so you can watch that and see so if you've got short lashes or maybe that you've just got straight lashes this combination is really good because when I put this on alone like yes it's good but I think if you've got long lashes already then you can use this one by itself but this one is the game changer like like I said when you watch the video you will see the difference so yeah absolutely love these so literally like i don't wear makeup on a daily basis at all but i could definitely see you know you know if like sometimes you just want to make your eyes a bit bright or whatever i could definitely see myself just putting this on um because it is fantastic so so good like you actually have eyelashes after it okay so just one more thing and you're gonna look at this oh no there's two more things so this next one you're gonna look at it and be like what on earth is this <laughs> i'll explain let me just show you first okay just to confuse you a bit okay does anybody know what this is no okay so basically this i recently worked with rally's closet on in um the, who were on inst let me try again i recently worked with a brand called rally's closet a turban brand based in nigeria and um she basically was chosen to exhibit at lagos fashion week recently and asked me to do some videos for her to play on like the, a, a screen that they're going to have on the exhibitions exhibition stand um so this is one of the prints that she sent me and i thought this was genius so basically um and when i first opened it i thought oh that's quite cool like it's a bun you know yeah, so I thought originally that you kind of put it on the like that and then you, you know, it creates a bun for you. But no, no, I mean, you could do that, but that's not what she intended this for. This is for, you know, when you want to do those like super Afrocentric extra like turban styles, I'll probably insert a picture of something so you can see what I mean. So that's what, that's kind of what this is for. Um, it's called a super bun. And if you want one, you can literally buy one from her via Instagram. Um, so you just put it on your head like this sorry i really need to sort out my storage i've got so many things on this camera that i need to get rid of um but yeah so you put it on your head like this like this and then you have this and then you just wrap your turban and it's just so easy so much easier than like you know how some people will wrap um a scarf and then put it on there like this one will not move it'll not budge um it's lightweight it's so so good so i absolutely love this like i said from riley's closet if y'all want one um the last thing that i have been loving and so have you guys man like the compliments i've had like you eagle-eyed people who spot these things are so funny um but it's my fitbit so basically the reason that i love it so freaking much isn't just for the fact that it's that it does all the fitness stuff and what have you um no i am not an iphone person so i don't have a knife so i don't have an iWatch. but um yeah this i absolutely love so a lot of you have been loving this strap in particularly and that is why i love the fitbit so bad and i was that person who had way too many i mean i still do have way too many watches i think at one point i'm saying like it was in the past i still have like five watches well six including this one which i think is a bit excessive so what i love about this is that it allows you to have one watch that you can literally just change the strap and it it's like having as many watches as you want but without the cost 
um so yeah i think this is absolutely genius and this is my newest um strap it's a rose gold strap to match the rose gold face on here let's wipe that a bit and i think it's so beautiful right it's absolutely stunning and it's so cheap like so so cheap you will not believe how much i bought it for i think it was like it was definitely less than five pounds i want to say um but yeah and i just got it from aliexpress guys so good such a bargain um that's where i get all my straps from and i'll insert clips or whatever pictures or something of my other ones but it's literally the easiest way to have like a million different watches without having to like bring something else that i have absolutely been loving in fact i've loved this forever i've loved it since last year guys let me just show you first and i'll explain so it's this candle this particular candle and i'm sorry if you're not from the uk you might not be able to get it unless you just look for a gingerbread candle but this one is um specifically from home bargains which is a super duper cheap shop in the uk where you can buy pretty much everything now so i saw this last year and i thought wow it smells incredible oh my god it smells so nice like and the thing is it fills the the house or your room with like the fragrance even when it's not lit if you leave it open oh my god it is so so good now yeah so I, I saw it last year and i loved it so i bought it and then when it ran out so this is the one that i bought i bought a little one um like i said i'm obsessed with it um so i bought this little one um and then when it ran out then i went to get some more and they didn't have any so i was like what why do shops always do this why do they let you fall in love with something and then they stop selling it anyway then i discovered that they it was seasonal so they only did it around christmas time so it came back and i was so freaking happy so i bought a massive one i bought one for my mom's house i bought one to uh, put in our bathroom at home like literally i i just love it and mum loves it as well so it's so so nice so basically i keep saying to my mom i'm going to literally stock up before christmas is over because i need this to last me until next christmas when they bring more again because it smells delightful so it's just a gingerbread um candle so like say if you're not from the uk you probably can find something similar um that is gingerbread scented the the my only thing with candles is that there are some that really do not have like they're scented but when you put them on like you really can't smell the scent and that really annoys me because i'm like what's the point in that so uh yeah this one is just incredible love it and it's so cheap so this one was 99p this one 2.99 like really yeah that is the end of this video these are the things that i have absolutely been loving that i just had to share with you guys like i said because i think that you guys will like some of these things because most of my followers you guys are like myself similar age we're all girls so you know gotta help each other out if there's anything that you've been loving that you think i should know about let me know down below um i do read all your comments so yeah that's the end of that don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already it's that red button down below and click on the notification bell as well that way you'll be notified whenever i post a new video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll catch you next week guys bye